Hey guys, how are you doing? So once in a while, somebody will pop into a live stream or in a comment under YouTube and say, there's no jobs in software development. Ah. And I've shown many times with big data that there are so many jobs in software development. It's actually a political issue in, for example, the US, where they want to import coders from abroad. And it's very political. So how about Canada? How about the rest of the world? Well, let me just say, as I've said uh, over the last few years, that there are plenty of jobs uh, in the software development world, regardless of the type of software development that you do. So let me just jump to this article, and then I'll give you my final comments on that. So it just came out recently. So I'm up here in Canada, winter Canada, cold, cold Canada. And let me zoom in on this a little bit. All right, so you can see. There we go. So Quebec is a major province in Canada. It's like the it's like a state in the US. Anyway, so Quebec offers to pay people to train for IT jobs. Under the program, people who want to requalify in this industry will get an accelerated training during which they will be paid 650 a week, which is you know, it's lower middle class, but you know, you can pay your rent with a bursary of 1950 once the training is successfully complete. So not only will they pay your expenses every week, they'll give you a, an extra cash bonus of nearly $2,000 to complete the program. Quebec is pulling out a big incentive to attract 2,500 people and ease a labor shortage in the information technology and communications industry. So first thing you got to understand is that the province is so desperate to find information technology workers, coders, that they're willing to pay people to learn. So this is something I'm not sure if they're doing in other countries. I would imagine they are. But this just gives you an idea of the demand. There are about 10,000 vacant positions in IT and communications that have, that have to be filled. It's because... It's become a lack of labor, which have impacts on the economic recovery, said Labor Minister Jean Boulette, announcing the program pour la requalification et l'accompagnement en technologie de l'information et de communications pratiques. That's basically how, how I'm going to translate that in English. Um, Minister Jean Boulette is announcing the program for requalification uh, in the accompaniment of technology and information and, and communications. It's not a perfect, it's, this is a literal translation, but it's not perfect translation. Anyway, under the program, people who want to requalify in this industry will get accelerated training during which they will be paid $650 a week with a bursary of 2000 These are well-paid jobs with good working conditions, good prospects for the future, Buddha said. It's training in robotics, industrial automation, artificial intelligence, software design, web programming. But training will be extremely varied, will be concrete, and will allow us to respond to the concrete needs of the labor market. Uh, the program, which has funding, which has a funding envelope of almost... Let me try that one more time. The program, which has a funding envelope of almost 40 million, will specifically address the pandemic unemployment unemployed, and people who haven't been in school full-time for the last 12 months. Registration is open as of July 1, and training will be given full-time in September. Boulet noted, Boulet, that's the minister, noted that the Canadian, well, the Canada recovery benefit will end on September 25th, and those who are, okay, whatever. Anyway, so, if you're in Quebec, and you're looking for work, and you want to do it the slow way, take their program. If you want to do it the fast way, take my program. That being said, as I've been talking, as I've been telling people for the last few years, there is literally no chance that there will be no software development jobs for the next 10 to 20 years. No chance. The demand for these type of developers is only increasing. Yes, more people are getting into it, but the demand is increasing. So what does that mean? That means it's actually better today in terms of jobs as a programmer than it was 10 years ago. Let me say that again. Because the demand is increasing faster than the supply. So let me state that one last time. 
even though one last time there is an increased demand that's outstripping it's outstripping the increased supply of new developers so today it is easier to get a job in development than it was 10 years ago or 15 years ago don't let anybody tell you otherwise if you're having a trouble getting a job there's uh there's, there's a few possible reasons number one you're not trained properly in coding so you got to train yourself number two you don't have communication skills you need to work on your communication skills and number three maybe you're not hunting jobs efficiently you got to be a good job hunter at the end of the day if you're not getting a job as a developer well there's one other reason you love ruby if you love ruby that's a sure sign you're not going to get a job so at the end of the day whatever the reason plus ruby that you don't get a job or you're not getting a job or you're having a hard time getting a job the problem is not the marketplace the problem is between the keyboard and your chair 